Yeah, for sure. I'll hit you up on Instagram later. Don't forget no, cutie. I'll be waiting on you. All right, I'll get back with you. Hey, what's up? Can I get these few items in 10 on 3? I'm sorry, sir. I'm not allowed to service you. Oh, my bad. I forgot my mask. I'll be right back. No, no, no. You're mistaken. We don't care about masks here. Oh, then why can't I get these few things? Our policy here states that we can't service you if you're thirsty. What? You mean just because I got that girl's Instagram? Oh, no. It's because you're trying to quench your throat with this bottle of water here. What kind of policy is that? How am I supposed to get my stuff? I suggest you go somewhere and hydrate. I'm not doing that. You're the only place open for miles. I'd have to go all the way back home and drink some toilet water, I guess, and then come all the way back. I'm sorry, sir. I don't make the rules. I just follow them. Look, man, can I just grab the water bottle real quick, go outside and drink it, and then come back in and get the rest of the stuff? What did I just say? I can't sell it to you. I'm tired of everybody coming in here, making my job harder than it needs to be. Rules are rules. If you don't like it, then just leave. Right, all right, all right. Damn. I'll be right back. All right, I'll see you later then, sir. Next. All right, I'm back. Can I please get my stuff now? Ooh, no. Glad you decided to come back, but I still can't sell these to you. What? Why not now? Well, our new store policy says we can't sell anything to people that are punks. Nah, I ain't no punk. Really? Well, you did just go all the way back home instead of just buying your stuff. That's because you told me it was your policy. I was trying to obey the rules. Sorry, my hands are tied. I can't sell the punks. No, no, I ain't no punk. And you're gonna sell me these items. Well, since you are standing up to me this time, I decided I'd give you another chance. Thank you. So run them hands. Huh? You heard me? Run those hands. Take them knuckles out them pockets. No, I'm not about to fight you. Well, you ain't buying from here then, punk. Oh my God, how do you run a business like this? I don't know. I don't make the rules. Plus, we're the only store here for miles and miles and miles. I want to talk to your manager. He's busy handling another customer. I don't care. Go get him anyways. All right, hang out here. Why are you still... Yeah, come in. Hey, there's a customer that really wants to speak with you. Yeah, tell me all about it. I'm going to finish handling this one while you do it. I'm so sorry about the wait, sir. So I'm under the impression that my employee made you drive all the way back home, come back, and he still won't sell you your items? Yes. Not only that, he called me a punk and threatened to assault me. Oh, of course, he didn't mention that part. So did you prove him wrong? Huh? When he called you out for being a punk, did you prove him wrong? No, because that'd be ridiculous. Ah, you see, it's a simple solution. All you have to do is run those hands. If not, you're not getting any of this. You're getting nothing. Nada. Zip. All right, well, you're just going to have to fight me because ain't no damn way you're about to lay your hands on a customer. <laughs> Thanks for shopping at Secluded Supplies. We hope to see you again soon.